Hello students, before we have learned about more on MS PowerPoint. Today we are going to start lesson number 6, MS PowerPoint giving presentations. Now we are going to see slideshow options. The slideshow tab on the ribbon contains many options for the slideshow on the start slideshow group. Starting the slideshow from the beginning. Starting the slideshow from the current slide. Broadcasting the slideshow to remote viewers through the internet. Creating or playing a custom slideshow. Now we are going to see setup slideshow. When you click on this option, a setup show window appears on the screen. It presents many alternatives for the slideshows. It has many options like show type, show slides, show options and advanced slides. Now we are going to see how to record narration in PowerPoint. Step 1. Go to the record slide show option from the setup group of the slideshow tab and click on it. A record slideshow dialog box appears. It asks you to select what you want to record before you begin recording. Step 2. Click on start recording button. Step 3. Speak on the microphone as recording dialog box appears on the screen. Step 4. To stop recording, click on close button. The total time of slideshow is display. Click on yes button. Now we are going to see rehearse timing. Step 1. Click on the rehearse timing option from the setup group of the slideshow tab. This will begin the PowerPoint presentation but in the rehearsal dialog box. Step 2. Practice speaking and advance the slide as required in the presentation. Step 3. Choose whether or not to keep this timing or try it again. Now we are going to see creating speaker notes. Step 1. Select the slide. Step 2. Go to view tab of MS PowerPoint window and select note page option from the presentation views group. A click to add text sections appears below the slide. Step 3. Type in the notes for that slide. Now we are going to see printing a presentation. Step 1. Click on the file menu button. A drop down menu appears. Step 2. Click on print option. Various print options are displayed. Step 3. Select the number of copies from copies box. Step 4. Choose the other option as required and click on print option. Now we are going to see how to spell check. Step 1. Go to the review tab and click on the spelling button in the proofing group. A spelling checkbox appears. Step 2. Change the spelling or ignore the suggested changes. Now we are going to see how to run in a slideshow. Step 1. To start the slideshow, click on the From Beginning button of the Start Slideshow or From Current Slide button group on the slideshow tab. Step 2. Use the arrow keys at the bottom of the screen to move forward or backward in a presentation. Step 3. Press the Escape key to end the slideshow. Now we are going to see tips for effective presentation. Tips for an effective presentation Slides should be of a consistent design throughout the presentation. Use graphics and pictures to make the presentation attractive. Remove unnecessary information and graphics. Use contrasting background and text colors. Use maximum three fonts for the text in a presentation. Keep the fonts consistent throughout the presentation. Identify the critical information for your presentation. Use note more than 6 bullets per page. 
the text under bullet should be short ideas not complete sentences add web links to your presentation use hyperlinks between slides today we have learned about features of powerpoint okay thank you have a nice day